Obvious at this point, because we in 2020, baby, and we using logic. We using hard evidence and logic. You know what I mean? Because we not we yeah we intelligent, so you can't bamboozle us. And we going with hard evidence. So we we it's it's okay for us to start again at 1776. It's okay. We don't even have to go beyond that mark, before that mark, to figure out what we're talking about here. You know what I'm saying? As it relates to the five percent, because we had movements in the late 1800s, early 1900s. We had movements already that was stressing the importance of diet as it relates to so-called black people. We got to know that. Drew Ali, you see what I'm saying? And, and, and his movement was already, it's documented, was already talking about how important the diet was and how important it was not to consume dead flesh. Check, check, do your due diligence on that, fam. We talking about Noble Drew Ali. Do your due diligence on that man right there and his movement, and you'll find out on this landmass, it, it's, it's that ancient that, that the gods been talking about diet and how important your actual plate is. Why are we saying that? Because as it relates to the 5%, it's a certain way that that mind going to think. It's a certain diet that that mind has to get fed. That's a fact. We'll never be able to get away from that issue right there. Because if you eating dead flesh, that means you thinking like an animal, period. Because you got blood of another goddamn, not even a human being, but an animal. The blood of that animal is flowing through your bloodstream. See, you can't, don't take it all personal. It is what it is. We just teaching what the gods have always taught. You see? This word vegan, that's just a new word, but the whole concept ain't new. It's far from new. Do your due diligence. You see what I'm saying? On this landmass, again, then comes the Nation of Islam with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaching the same thing. It's the same curriculum here. You see? Your own schools. Your own uh, farmland, etc. They had their own cleaners, grocery stores, etc. They was edu educating their own children. You know what I mean? And then they go from there. You see what I'm saying? Within a, uh, we'll call it religious, a religious paradigm. You see what I'm saying? It's okay to call it that. But we got to know, again, when it comes to your mind, it's a certain thing that that brain is supposed to be getting fed. It's a certain uh, nutrient that that bloodstream is supposed to be getting in order for that brain to operate like it was divinely operated, uh, uh, excuse me, created to operate. You see? Like it was divinely created to operate. Not like it was devilishly created. You see what I'm saying? Because that mind wasn't created in devilment. That mind, that brain was created to get righteous stuff done. You see? That's a fact. And again, it's a certain way of doing it and getting it. And you got to, we, we, we got to know that. You see what I'm saying? We got to know that that's very important. And we ain't, I'm not, I'm not telling nobody, you know what I mean? That you, you stop eating meat and then, you see what I'm saying? Your life turns into whatever. But I know from experience for myself, you know what I mean? I just made five years. Mm. And July, on July, deuce deuce, to be exact, of 2020, look at all them tools across there. I made five years, no flesh. No you see what I'm saying? No flesh and I very little dairy. You know what I mean? Very little. I got to say very little because I can't say just zero like the meat. But I've had no meat, no dead flesh, period. Five years. Five years straight. And I'm saying that because I know that the experience that I started to attract was different and on a higher vibration. Because here I come inside the press box. You see what I'm saying? And I know what this means. 
No cap at all. I know exactly what this means, why I'm sitting in this building with my brother, uh, Lean. Lean on me. You see what I'm saying? I take, I take, I take real power, strong mind, discipline. Period. Discipline. discipline. You see? And I ain't never had an impossible discipline. burger either. I ain't never had an impossible burger. I, I, I don't even, you know what I mean? Fast food joint ain't seen me. I go in there and use the restroom. If we ride on the highway or something, I stop in there and, and use the restroom. I hate to do it then. I like to stop at hotels when I'm, uh, you feel me, on the highway. I like to hit a hotel. But this, That's a good one. They restroom, yeah, you yeah. see what I'm saying? The restroom way more tidy. Right on. Can't stand hitting them goddamn on fast food joint ass. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm saying that, family, because I know from experience. And, and, and not only did I start to attract a higher vibration of experience, my family benefited from it as well. My, my, my wife and my seeds. You see what I'm saying? My grand seeds now. Cause my whole karma, it changes. I'm starting to sow different seeds. See, these seeds are being of a higher vibration. So now they come back of a higher vibration. You can't do that when you, you see what I'm saying? You ain't eating right. You ain't eating right. You can't do it. <laughs> Let me make a, a segue. Mm. Because what I just heard. Come on now. One thing I heard was calm. Yes, you did. You know. And uh, yeah. <laughs> that's going to take us into this. Come here. on now. Cause and effect. You know what I'm talking about? you. You know what I'm saying? We open. Ooh. Come on, let's you do it. You didn't know, family. We walking down through this cabalion. The cabalion. We, uh, this is number six. It, it, it's seven of them in total. Today, we're going to get off into the principle of cause, cause and effect. effect. Man. Or maybe even known as causation. Ooh, wait, man. But, uh, right on time. Come on. Yeah, man. because what you just said was a prime example of from what happened. When you change your diet. Yes, sir. And how that affected you and your family Man. and your life. Tremendously. No cap. Tremendously. I mean, straight up. Started to attract a, a higher vibration of experience here on the earth plane. You know what I mean? And I'm in constant communication with my mother's spirit. Mm -hmm. And now my mother-in-law. Because I'm one of the ones, you see what I'm saying? You you you, I, you might not hear this story often, but I, me and my mom-in-law was close, just like me and my mom. Mm. I had one of them. And you know what I mean? She physically transitioned. My mother-in-law did just two years ago now. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But I'm saying that to say, I got angels, and I use them, and they are with me. You see what I'm saying? And when you, again, get your mind right, you realize, you see what I'm saying, that that spirit realm is there for assistance. That's that's that's, right. that's how you get your help down here. You see what I'm saying? So it ain't like, you know what I mean, she gone or they gone. Of course, physically, yes, obviously. They gone to where I can't physically touch them. But that spirit realm, man, listen. Mm -hmm. If you are in tune. There it is. And really believe that you know, they go back inside us anyway, our ancestors when they die. You know, we generations and generations of oh. our ancestors. Oh. But before we get off that, that diet change, you know, I, I changed mine too for a minute. I went vegetarian slash vegan for three years. I got three years under my belt too. Yeah. Now, I'm not right there now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, you know, I tell you why. I'm going to tell you what made me start back eating meat again. Yes. Is uh oh. Everybody think they mama the best cook. Yes. Well, I think that too, and it was just some some things that I wanted to enjoy while I still have. Only your mama couldn't fix. Yeah. So after three years, you know, I thought I followed too, man. I was like, and even when she would cook, you know what I'm saying? Uh. I wouldn't get the dry, the dry salt joes in mine over right. here. You know, I get the little special pot of peas and beans and right. little greens over here. Right. But uh, eventually, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of this cooking while I still got her. I see. And uh, with that being said, though, I, I I'm I'm off and on with it. But I, I ain't made that. I, I've been you know saying weeks at a time, months since then. This was I stopped. 
I ate meat. I stopped. I was eating no meat from like uh, I think it was like from ten to thirteen mm -hmm. or eleven to fourteen. I've mm -hmm. been three years in. Mm -hmm. I always say, you know, what I'm, I'm gonna get back to it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you will. I sure. definitely will. Once you got somebody, you know what I'm saying, in your corner, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. that motivates you, that don't, yeah. it's just by their actions, and yes, you can sir. watch them, Man. and you can see the vigor in them, and you can see that they ain't missing the beat. It's like, yeah, I remember that. Let me get back on my shit. Yeah. My mother, man, my mother would be my main motivation to, to, to the reasoning of me doing it, because watching her shrivel up, you understand, and then transition of counsel, being saved, sanctified, filled with the precious Holy Ghost, as they was, she was saved. You see what I'm saying? Couldn't fight that cancer out with all those. With all those egoic, you see, remember? Mm -hmm. These egoic titles. Religious. Yeah, the way you, you see what I'm saying? You feel like you're a part of this elite group to where you can live any kind of way and then say when you need help, hey, God, Jesus, you see what I'm saying? That, and that taught me through my own mother. You see how deep this is? It's deeper than that. You mean, what, what are you saying, Brother Seven Son? What I'm saying is it motivated me to really dig into how the human body works. You see? Because the human body works one way. It ain't no, it ain't no, you see what I'm saying? Oh, because I belong to this church, my body works like this. Or Oh, because I work for such and such and such, my body works like this, you see? Or, oh, because I'm a part of this such and such, such and such organization, my body, that ain't how this work, you see? And I figured that out quickly. Because my mother had just turned, like we said before, 53 years of age. That's young, you see? So that, that dug in me real deep to where I had to dig deep and say, okay, what's going on? Now, on top of that, I see that she was educating herself on refraining from fried foods, etc., in her writings, because my mama was a Gemini. So she writing in her journal, which of course, after she transitioned, me and my brother, mm -hmm. we, we got her, you know what I mean, her personal belongings. So part of her personal belongings that I had was her journals, like a bunch of man. My mama was a writer for real. She was a Gemini. So you already know. Scribe. You know what I mean? Scribe. On it, on it. So that also motivated me because she was educating herself on she needed to stop eating the fried foods and all of that. She had it written down, the, uh, more fruits, veggies, and uh, nuts and grains. She had all that written down. You know what I mean? To where I'm like, oh, okay. And then again, that leads me to where I am today where like you, you won't be able to get me to turn back. But see, that's unlike you. Your mother is physically here. So you saying it's the cooking. That's why I say, hey, I see. I get that. You know what I mean? And you can't, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 not that. That's what it is. But in my uh, experience, of course, as we can see, my mom was gone. You know what I mean? So, you know, boom, that, that's, I'm saying that to say that's like the foundation of my motivation of not eating the dead flesh because it, it feeds cancer. Stress feeds cancer. The dead flesh feeds cancer. That microwave, when you putting stuff in the microwave and you 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 cooking a lot of stuff in that microwave, that those radioactive uh, 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 waves, you see, you see, that's feeding cancer. Microwave you see what I'm saying? Too, we came about that. Uh, you see? You got carcinogens in these hot dogs that you eat. You see what I'm saying? And then you'll put them in the goddamn on microwave. We could just go on and on with diet alone to where your brother, second son, I know how the human body works. And I'm going to obey those laws of the land that the Bible was talking about. Because that land is my human body. And I, I understand that to be that. Come on now. The principle of cause and effect. See, that's how that works. <laughs> so the cause was I had to lose my mother. You see? Physically. I had to lose her. You see what I'm saying? To get this uh, 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 this willpower, you know what I mean? That, that's really what it brought out to. I had to get the willpower to do so. To where, again, what, what am I, what am, why, why, why do all of this? Because 
These are taking preventative measures of staying out of the doctor's office. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not in, I don't have a doctor's appointment. My wife, they'll tell you, I hadn't, it's no cap or nothing, but I don't get rushed to the emergency for nothing. You see what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I mean? There, there's no, even in my household, ain't nobody, my son, my baby, they don't, nobody gets sick to where we got to go to the doctor. And I, so, it, you know, that's a part of the whole doing it like that like why is your diet you see what i'm saying why is that important because you stay out the white coats way you see what i'm saying and you get better you feel me mentally that's just cause and effect you're gonna mentally get better as your immune system strengthens and get you know better because your your organs are starting to get stronger going back to the 12 powers of man we done already been through that series here inside the press box walk with me you see what i'm saying because these 12 powers, we said, are connected to 12 different organs. See how important all this is to tie it in together, family? To get your best experience on this life. Because I made a vow to my children to not be of a burden to them in no type of way. I told them, you ain't got to worry about taking daddy to go get his appointment and give daddy got remember we got to take his medicine and uh uh daddy we got to go wipe his ass because he can't none of that i made a vibe to him you see what i'm saying that i will i will be an asset to my children my wife and you, those that matter an asset you can't be an asset when you own your medicine you sick you got to go you see we get out your emotions we're just being real here you got to go to the appointment two, three times a month, yada, yada. You see, that's, you, you better, better. You better hope that uh, in those times you got to go to your appointment, you live the life where people are willing to take you. Mm. A lot of people, man, that are our age or that are coming up, uh, oh, wait, so we're speaking of cause and offense, you're not treating your children, you know what I'm saying, worth a damn. Mm. And they can't wait to take you to the nurse's home when you get over. They're not going to fool with you because of how you treated them. Cause and effect. Here we go. They are people too. Every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law. Chance is but a name for law not recognized. <laughs> there are many planes of causation, but nothing escapes the law. Everything happened for a reason. That's what that just said right there, fam. We can say everything happened for a reason. Everything happened for we a reason. We can call it karma. Mm -hmm. You can call it you reap what you sow. There you go. Because he said, because the because the the, the the author is saying chance is but a name for law not recognized. That means that, that that's that's for those that say I don't believe in karma. See, that's that's what that's for right there. That's for y'all. Chance is but a name. For law not recognized. You just ain't recognized that that happened to you because you sold a seed somewhere for that to happen to you. See? You, mm -hmm. and, and you don't want to admit it because you so holier than thou for some reason. Where you think you can some some type of foolishly way get away with what you're doing. <laughs> you remember what the scripture said about the eyes of the Lord is in every place beholding the evil and the good that's what that means right there you see what i'm saying that you got to reap what you sow that's just what that is and you can't get away from it you think you know we think we be sneaking it you know what i'm saying that's you ain't bad listen let's go to the book of Galatians, uh -oh. chapter 6, verse 7 uh -oh. and 8. Come on now. Do not be deceived. Oh. God cannot be mocked. A man reap what he sows. The one who sows to please his sinful nature, from that nature will reap destruction. The one who sows to please the spirit, from the spirit will reap eternal life. And we are, we, you talking about people that don't believe in karma. I don't believe in karma. The people that say they don't believe in karma is the people that's out here living fucked up and fucking old people. That's it. But me personally, wow. I have. I get it. Changed and or transformed my life in a fashion where I am awaiting karma now. Come on now. Because I know the time Watch how you hold is out of the soul. Come on now. So it's no thing about. Come on. Uh, man, 
Uh, I'm. I ain't even tripping. I, I tell you, like, I tell you like this here. And I'm speaking from a brother's standpoint. Brother, I got to tell you this right here, man, because it is what it is. But a lot of us are unwilling to make a full commitment to the opposite sex because you fear all of the whole shit you did, all of the lying, all of the player shit, all of the, the sneaking and geeking, you know what I'm saying? All the heart shit done broke. Now, when it's time for you to, you know, you could have been aging, you should be a mature man thinking like a man because it's time to put the child shit away. When it's time to be a man to stand up. Come on you now. Know what I'm saying? And be a man, man, you can't or you won't because your own spirit is scared that you're going to have to reap what you sow.